Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. This is part two of the off-grid flushable toilet. And as you can tell from the last time, this thing has changed. The owner right here has decided that the first one wasn't big enough. It ended right here and we had a ramp going down. So now we've taken the ramp up. It is now four by eight instead of four by four. And we're gonna have the ramp come out sideways. And it's going right here in this piece of woods in the shade kind of keep it out of the way it got a little bit excessive on the hole digging here for the tank to go down in this thing so we got to get down there and probably have to fill it in and uh, make some room in here but we'll kind of show you when we get the tank up where it's going to be uh, we're going to put two railroad ties for the outhouse to sit on and that'll raise everything up a couple inches and Try to get some water drainage to flow away from this place. Make sure it's not a, a sitting in a hole. And uh, he's bringing the excavator over here now, so we'll bring you back when he gets here. Well, here he is. If you can hear me over the sounds of the machine, we got the tank set down the hole. And he's trying to finagle this dirt back over here from the pile, trying to get it in the hole. without crushing your tank or doing anything. Kind of close quarters in here with all the trees. He didn't want to take the trees out, but we uh, got to get the dirt in here somehow. Here's kind of the finished product. Right here's the tank. Right there's the hole to evacuate it. And we're now going to try to put this outhouse all the way down these two railroad ties. Then we'll fill everything in, top dress it, and that'll give us plenty of slope. He can get in here with the machine now. That'll be the $50 question. We put the outhouse back up on the trailer backwards and backed it in. Let's see if this thing's going to work. Well, here it is. We got it set in place. It's up on them railroad ties. Now, when we get done, dirt level is going to be raised about that railroad tie, maybe a little bit more. And then of course it'll be all plain down here so this doesn't become a mud hole or anything and uh of course door opens out we got a handrail to put might have to put a privacy screen here yet and then we're going to go ahead and attach the sink and whatnot over here and he's talking about maybe putting a window in here or a ventilation let me take you around back let's see how that came out well like i said we were Planning on putting a piece of rain gutter here. And of course that blue 55 gallon drum will sit right here for when he's not having big things, just training sessions. And then we're going down and here's the top of the tank. And we got it to where they can just unscrew the lid right there. They can reach in, the porta potty people can go ahead and suck everything out once a month or whatever they need. And uh, it'll be the same thing all back in here will get landscaped and get filled up with dirt so the rainwater don't run into it. We're going to get inside and see if he's got everything and start working on the, the commode and that end of it. And let's see how it all works out. One. Well, here's what it looks like. We've got a regular porcelain commode over there. Plumbed in. Ah. We have uh, foundation vents down here on the floor. One there and one up top. We've got that thing hooked up with a regular commode type hookup. We've got another automatic opening and closing vent there. We have this sliding window. This is all screen on this side. We made a hand sink out of that little galvanized tub with his uh, official duct faucet on it and then this side right here from here over move that mirror out that'll be a bench 
So the people come here, if they got boots on, they got to take them off or they got to change clothes or something. And we'll take you around and show you the plumbing on them. This is just a water line. It heads up, like I said, it's just going to be gravity feed most of the time in this drum. This is the water line that goes to the faucet. This is the water line that then goes in, goes into the bottom of the commode. We have to hook to that drain from the sink yet and go into the septic tank here. Like we said, this right here is just a tank underneath of it is buried right there. The portal let people come and suck it out. Up here is the line that goes up to the commode and then we'll probably run into the tank right here and put another fitting right there and uh, hook the drain into it. That is the uh, automatic foundation vent right there. And then a drum for water and then he also has a 500 gallon tank on a trailer he's going to bring out here for days when they have big shoots and dog training and there's a lot of people he can just it's all hose fittings he can just disconnect that right there hook it to a dc battery pump and it'll just be pressurized system then but that's it we've got this thing done he's gonna oil the wood down on it he uses a mixture of linseed oil and crankcase oil oil the whole thing down it'll kind of end up being this darker color right here when he gets done and uh we're gonna get out here tomorrow hopefully if he gets this dirt filled in all the dirt comes up to the top of the railroad tie so he's got a bunch of dirt to haul in there with his machine and um for him on this side He'll have a board down here and a gun rack for them so when they go in the outhouse they can put their gun up in the gun rack and won't have to worry about it falling over or anything. And a couple pegs for jackets and cloaks, rain jackets and all. So, well, if this helps you out, like it, share it, tell your friends about it, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll get back with you on the next one.